Right, what I'm hoping to do now is to show you how to filter waste veg oil, which you can scrounge from restaurants, cafes, whatever. This is not a full carton, obviously, but it's for demonstration purpose only. First thing I did with it when I got it was I left it for a couple of weeks and I've let all the fat that you can see there in the bottom and the water settle in the bo bottom of the container because you don't want that in the filter system that I'm going to show you in a while. So the first thing I need to do is get that oil out of there without all the rubbish in the bottom. And to do that, I'm going to drill a hole above the fat line so that only the oil filters down into my container. Right, now I've got the oil coming through and to increase the flow a bit, just let a bit of air in. And you can see the oil is looking pretty clean now that all the fat's down in the bottom. Obviously it's going to take a few minutes for this to uh, drain into the container. So uh, while it's doing that I'll just explain to you that what I'm doing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this oil down to one micron and then I'm going to add diesel to it and mix it and then I'm going to put it in my vehicle. Um, you can legally use 2400 litres of oil, waste veg oil or straight veg oil which you buy from the supermarkets in your vehicle in a year. However, I mix mine with diesel and I do keep all my receipts for the diesel that I've purchased because you can be asked by the law if they dip your tank and find you using veg oil to prove that you're actually using diesel as well. If you're going to use waste veg oil in your vehicle do make sure from your manufacturer that your vehicle will run safely and not damage the engine. Right now we've got a hole in the car put the top back on nice and tight and tip it up and there you can see all the crap in the bottom all the sludge all the water the fat and everything else which we didn't want and then we've got our nice clean oil that we're going to filter further right I'm going to put this in a different container so that I can show you the filter system that I use which will eventually fil filter the oil down to one micron. I believe the fuel filter on a vehicle is around five micron, but you don't want any little bits or bops blocking up your fuel lines before it even gets to the filter. Right, now we're going to the next stage of the filtration. These are called filter bags or filter socks. Um, I got these three lovely ones off Filter Bag Man, who's on eBay for a tenner for three, I believe. And first of all, I'm going to put the oil that we just drained out of the container through this one first, which is 100 micron. So it should go through fairly quickly. You can see how clean the oil is because you haven't got any of the rubbish. But As I'm going to put this in my fuel, in my lovely Discovery 1 300 TDI, I want it to be good. Some people say don't use these filter socks or filter bags because they block up. The only reason they block up mainly is because people put all the fat, water, all the little bits of uh, food that's been cooked in the oil into the bag. Uh, of course it's going to of course it's going to block it if you put that stuff in, that's why I drained it all off first. It's gone straight through the first filter. So now I'm going to change the bag, put that in my bucket. You don't have to wash them every time you use them. Right, put the oil back in the container again which is now even cleaner. 
There we go. Change the filter bag to a 25 micron. Same bag, from the same guy. And as I say, you don't need to wash them every time. If you do wash them when they get clogged up, eventually, don't do it in the washing machine. Do them in the bucket first, and then you get rid of all the crap and gunge that's inside them. And then when the last lot in, put them in the washing machine. As you can see now, the oil is so clean, or getting so clean, it's even going through the 25 micron bag at a rate, quite a fast rate of knots, and it isn't going to take long to filter it. And then we'll put it through the final bag when it's drained. Right, and for the final bit, Right, we'll go down to uh, the last bag, which is one micron, but uh, if you want to, you can actually use uh, a five micron, which would still be fine. Right, now I've got the last one, which is a one micron bag, um, which is very, very fine. The bags are made of linen, by the way, and uh, it may take a little longer for the oil to filter through the last filter, as it's so fine. But once it's done that, we're done. All we need to do then, put it back in a container, add some diesel, and then you're running on fuel 70p a litre. And then about. If you're going to use veg oil in your vehicle, you need to carry a spare fuel filter and a spare can of diesel to top it up. Because what might happen is, because the veg oil will clean all your fuel pipes, it may clean off some contaminants and actually block the filter. Um, so after a a few fills with veg oil and diesel it'd be wise to change the filter with fresh diesel in it and then carry on using it and then it should be every six months should be fine just the initial time when you start using veg oil as it cleans out the fuel system um, you will get some debris and obviously you've got the chance of a filter blocking just take the filter off put a new one on and off you go. I've been using veg oil mixed with diesel now for over two years and I've not had one problem. Um, it doesn't affect uh, your speed, uh, it doesn't affect your fuel, fuel consumption, um, it does rather smell like a burger van sometimes from the exhaust but some people find that quite pleasant uh, even though it makes them hungry uh, but it does not damage anything in my particular engine uh, as i say you must check with your manufacturer of your vehicle that it's safe to use right we've now filtered the oil down to one micron i put the bags in the bucket ready to use again when i want to filter some more oil um, now i'm just going to pour the oil into the container that i had originally
Right, there's my nice, nice clean uh, veg oil. Filtered down to a micron. And now we're going to add nice clean diesel all the way from Sainsbury's. That's it. Now the diesel is with the veg oil, the top on the container. Give it a good slosh about. And there you go. Ready to go in your fuel tank. Just goes to prove you don't need loads of expensive equipment to filter veg oil. Thanks for watching.